Neverdeck comes in both with support and his first ever super chat. Thank you very much. And he asks, he has a Ryzen 9 3900X. He updated it from an RX 5700 XT to an Asus 4080 Noctua. Uh, should I be upgrading my CPU soon? I edit videos, stream, play uh, World of Warcraft and Cyberpunk. Thank you for the use case. Yes. Thank you for the details on your graphics card upgrade. Makes a big difference. Yes. Today's video is brought to you by us. Do you love our content and want to support us, but direct payments are a step too far? We understand. Thank you for watching our videos and being fans. One awesome way to support us is to use the affiliate links in the video description of our videos. Peanut butter, anyone? Because now to everybody else watching this, I think this is important. If he had not upgraded his video card, my advice would be different. If he did not play Cyberpunk, edit videos and stream, my advice would be different. Correct. Because I think most people with a Ryzen 9 3900X can just keep it and be happy. Maybe upgrade to a Ryzen 9 5900X just to switch from four three-core chips to the one to two Six core oh, yes. chips. Yep, that. You know, because basically the the 3900X, for those of you who don't know or forgot, has four CCDs of four cores each on them, and the 3900X has one core each disabled. A 5900X has two eight core CCDs with two cores each disabled. It reduces core to core latency. The level three cache is divided better. Mm -hmm. It's two 16 megabyte L3 caches versus four eight megabyte caches on the 3900X. It makes the experience sense. It's twenty percent faster. But at the most, I would recommend that. However, and, and many people would be perfectly happy with that. In fact, I'm sure many people would watch something like this and say, I'd love to upgrade to a 3900X. That sounds nice. My old computer's crap, and that would be awesome. Yeah. That's fine. But they're not here. Nope. Never, never duck. Never? Never duck? Yep, never duck. Never duck. What does he have against ducks? I like ducks. <laughs> so everybody should have a duck. There is actually a Twitter account called Why Everybody Should Have a Duck. Yes. And it's awesome. So, and if by the time he's 25, our oldest son does not have a duck, I'll be shocked. Oh, because yeah. do you remember the TV show Friends when um, Joey had a duck? Vaguely. Yes. That was a while ago. People our age, in America at least, know what I'm talking about. So... A 4090, is, uh, excuse me, a 4080 is a completely different graphics card than a 5700 XT. That card is being bottlenecked by your CPU. He edits videos, he streams, he plays World of Warcraft, Cyberpunk. and he plays Cyberpunk. That's pretty demanding right You there. need a new CPU, man. Your graphics card is not being properly utilized on that, on that setup. You do not need to do an AM5 upgrade. You need a new system. You need a new motherboard. You basically have the option of going to the 14th gen, which is coming out here in October, mm -hmm. going to Zen 4. Yep. Now, technically, you can wait, but 15th gen Arrow Lake on the new socket and platform LGA 1851 will not come out until October of next year at the soonest. So we're talking about 15 months from now. Yep. If you're going to do that... I wouldn't have done the video card upgrade. I'd have waited until the 50 series came out next year. That is too much video card for 3900X. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, now Zen 5 is coming out next year, but it, it'll also be on AM5. He has a 2019 CPU. It's now 2023. Correct. Four years. Correct. He spent $1,200 on a video card. Yep. He has a higher than average use case. Yep. He should be upgrading every four years, maybe is, every three. Which is now. Not every five. I don't have a problem with average typical users who just do, they just play a game or they watch some videos and they just do some basic stuff with their machine. Yeah. Every five years is fine. But when you have a... When you're more demanding like he is, when you have $1,200 video card budget... I think... Well, if he's making money with the streaming, with the editing videos, do you know what I mean? Every three or four years is the appropriate time to do an upgrade. And in his case, I would either go with a 14900K, which sounds like a lot, but it's the best chip on the platform. It'll last a long time and it will retain its value. There will be a ton of people with 12700Ks. Yep. 
three or four years from now yep. who will want to upgrade to a 14900K and that chip will hold its value for future resale. It will. Don't bother with an i7 14700K. He could do an i5 14600K if he's on a budget, but again, 1200 on video card. Or I would just get a Ryzen 9 7950X and be done with it. Maybe skip Zen 5, do Zen 6, which will be the, probably the last CPU on the AM5 socket. So do a 7950X today, wait three years, and then just drop in the best of Zen 6 when you get to the end of that socket. Yeah, you can do that. What do you want to add to that? Well, the only trick is the 5950. That's not coming out for a while. Is that coming out next year or is that coming out in 2025? 5950? I mean the 5090. Oh, the video card. Uh, don't bother. Skip GPU gener generations. He has a 4090. He uh, went... 4080, so... He, he has a 4080. So 60. skip the 50, wait to the 60 series. When he either goes to Zen 6, then he upgrades to 60 series, or when he replaces his 14900K with a 17900K, then he goes to 60 series. There you go. Nevada, thank you very much for the support. Hope that was helpful.